Hello, and welcome to the Small Business Tax Savings Podcast, powered by Jetro and Associates. Get ready for another action-packed episode from our team that will help you save time, taxes, and keep more money in your pocket. Hello, and welcome back. I am your host, Mike Jezoshek, and I am a CPA and founder over at Jetro, which is an innovative accounting firm servicing small business owners across the country. Now, today I want to talk about business meals, and we previously talked about how entertainment expenses are no longer deductible, but I do want to talk about business meals under the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. What they did was they removed the, quote, directly related and associated with requirement from business meals. So I think you're really going to like these rules, and I want to go through a few examples to explain to you what this means for your business. Now, let's first look at restaurants and bars. If, for business reasons, you take a customer to breakfast, lunch, or dinner at a restaurant or hotel or to a bar for a few drinks, but you do not discuss business, can you deduct the cost of meals and drinks? And the answer is yes. Even though you did not discuss business, the law provides that if circumstances are that of a typically generally considered conductive to a business discussion, you may deduct the expenses for meals and beverages to the extent that they are ordinary and necessary expenses for your business. And we'll talk about that later, but again, ordinary and necessary expenses for your business. Now, you might be asking, what are circumstances conducive to a business discussion? And this really depends on the facts and taking into consideration the surroundings in which the meals or beverages are furnished. First, the surroundings should be a place where there is no substantial distraction to the discussion. So generally, a restaurant, a hotel dining room, or a similar place that does not involve distracting influences is considered conducive to a business discussion. On the other hand, business meals at nightclubs, sporting events, large cocktail parties, and sizable social gatherings would not generally be conducive to a business discussion. Now let's look at meals served in your home. Does a business meal served in your home qualify as a deduction? Yes, as long as you serve the food and beverages under circumstances conducive again to a business discussion. But because you are in your home, the IRS does add that you must clearly show that the expenditure was business rather than socially motivated. Now, let's say for goodwill purposes, you take a customer and his or her spouse to lunch and don't discuss business. Will the cost of the lunch become non-deductible? And the answer is a big fat no. Not if, in light of all facts and circumstances, the surroundings are considered conducive to a business discussion. And, of course, the expenses are ordinary and necessary expenses of carrying on the business rather than socially motivated expenses. So again, this discussion comes on with this new Tax Cut and Jobs Act. The IRS removed directly related and and associated with requirement from business meals. And so the, the, the idea behind this podcast was to show you some examples of things where you're not necessarily discussing business, but still necessary and ordinary, and how those can still be considered business expenses. Now, um, you do need to keep records that prove your business meals are ordinary and necessary business expenses. And so this is the key point. You can accomplish this by having receipts that show the purchases. So showing the receipt, showing what food and drinks were consumed. You also want to have proof of payment. So if there's a credit card receipt or a statement of a check or anything like that. And you also want to note the name of the person or persons with whom you had the meals and the business reason for the meal. So you can just write a short note on the receipt that just says, you know, maybe a couple words or fewer that says why were you meeting for them and the business reason for the meal. So again, have a receipt that shows the purchases, what was eaten and what was consumed. Have a proof of payment, that's a credit card receipt or a check. Um, Note who was in the meeting with you and record the business purpose for the meal. So, you know, whether it was taking a client out or what was the business purposes to make it ordinary and a necessary business expense. And just a reminder, the cost of your business meals continue to be 50% deductible as they were before um, with the new Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. So I want to thank you for tuning in to another episode. If you enjoy our weekly episodes, please leave a review on whatever platform you listen to us on. And if there's a topic you want me to touch on more, shoot me an email. Thanks again for tuning in, and I will see you 
next week. Now, one last thing before I go. Don't forget to check out our podcast website at www.taxsavingspodcast.com. That's taxsavingspodcast.com. This is a great resource to go and check out our most recent episodes, as well as find extra items if you want to take what we discuss here and dive deeper. Again, also join our Facebook group where we share tons of value and you have the opportunity to bring situations you are faced with to the table and we'll help you out in that Facebook group and other business owners will support you as well. You can join by simply searching in Facebook for the Small Business Tax Secrets group. Again, it's a Facebook group called Small Business Tax Secrets and there should be a group that pops up that you can join. This has been another episode of the Small Business Tax Savings Podcast from the team at Jetro and Associates. If you have any questions, feel free to email them, tax at jetrotax.com. We have packages for small business owners starting at just $75 a month. If you enjoyed our podcast, please take the time out to give us a five-star review in iTunes or wherever you listen. This helps us to bring you useful tips to help you grow your small business. Thanks for listening and have a great day.